Brewers hosting the Cardinals. The Cardinals are plus 142 on the money line. The Brewers are minus 168. The over-under is eight runs. The Cardinals getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 152, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. While the Brewers laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 126, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. Thank you for everyone who keeps joining the Discord. I really do appreciate you guys. If you've not done so yet, go to my website, rawsportstalk.com. Click on the membership tab. It is a paid membership, but you will get my best bets in there. Head-to-head, the road team is on a four-game winning streak. The road team is 6-4. and four. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line, although the underdog has won the last two games they played against each other. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is 5-5. Five and five. There have been two one-run games in their last 10. The under is hit in their last two. The under is 7-3 and three in their last 10. And the under 8 is 7-3 and three in their last 10 meetings. For the Cardinals, Thompson pitched twice against the Brewers this year. Once in relief, one shutout inning. They... He struck out one, and then five innings, four runs, four earned. They lost that game eight to two. He struck out four. They're three and two in his last five starts. He's averaging five and a third innings pitched and 4.6 strikeouts per game in those games. And for Miley, they're four and one in his last five starts. He's got an ERA of two, averaging five and a third innings pitched and 3.6 strikeouts per game in those games. They've won his last three starts. The under is hitting his last two starts, and the under is four and one in his last five. And his last three against the... Uh, Cardinals averages three and two thirds innings pitched, 5.3 hits, two earned runs, three strikeouts, 1.3 walks, 1.3 home runs, and 60 pitches. He doesn't go very deep in the games. Now, the Cardinals are two and two in their last four, four and six in their last 10, and the Brewers are five and five in their last 10, and they're on a three game losing streak. And I honestly don't think it matters whether they win or lose because they've already clinched. So maybe they're just resting people. I don't want to say resting them to rest them to get them ready for the playoffs because, you know, there's the rest versus rust kind of deal. I'm going to take the Brewers with the money line. I'm going to take the Brewers laying the runs, and I'm going to go under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.